Hunting for deals is thirsty work for a dragon. Would you like to join us for a drink? Definitely. And over the years, each investor has had their own tipple of choice. Passion fruit Except gin, please. Fruit. The rum is fantastic. I'm probably only two more raspberry daiquiris off making a bad decision. Business and booze can often prove the perfect cocktail for success in the den. Craft Clubs is launching alcohol subscription clubs to connect craft producers with the home market. I am one of their customers. Oh, I yes. Yes. Oh. I can't believe it. But not all offerings go down quite as smoothly. What are the... Not sure about that. I just wonder how much alcohol you've been consuming recently. But when the blend is just right... Let's do a deal. Can't yes! wait to have your horse. Oh, that's brilliant. It leaves both the entrepreneur... Cheers, <laughs> cheers, cheers. ...and Dragon very merry <laughs> indeed. Cheers, cheers, everyone. The appearance of the latest alcoholic offering to enter the den has certainly got the Dragon's guessing. Is this whiskey in a receptacle that looks like baby food? <laughs> But will best friends Thomas Ask and Tristan Stevenson be toasting to investment success or drowning their sorrows? Good luck. Good luck, mate. <clears throat> Hello, um, my name's Tom, this is Tristan, and we're here to pitch for £75,000 in return for 10% of our company, Whiskey Me. Whiskey Me is a subscription-based membership that sends 50 mil samples of premium single malt whiskey to our members on a monthly schedule. From as little as seven pounds a month, our members receive a double measure of premium single malt whiskey that might otherwise set them back 14 pounds if they were to buy it in a bar or require a commitment of 50 to 100 pounds if they were gonna buy an entire bottle. The company was founded in 2017 um, and since then, we've grown from zero to 2,300 subscribers. In your boxes, uh, you have a selection of three different single malt whiskies in pouches, and we'd also like to invite to ask any questions that you have. A whisky subscription club that delivers a diversity of single malts straight through your letterbox is the proposition Thomas Ask and Tristan Stevenson are hoping will be a neat idea for the dragons. You just want to warm us up before we That's ask right. any questions. Very That's good it. ploy. <laughs> I like your plan. They're looking for £75,000 in exchange for a 10% stake in their business. You're in heaven, aren't you? Absolutely. Tej Lalvani is eager to engage with the whiskey wannabes. Tristan, Tom. Well, look, whiskey is my drink of choice. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'd like to understand a bit more about your background, actually. Yeah, so we've both spent around 20 years in hospitality, um, from bartending, and we set up a, what was a consultancy company 10 years ago. And in the process of that, in 2016, we opened a whiskey bar, uh, which is in Moorgate in London, um, and that's where it started. Well, so look, in terms of customers, what is involved in the subscription? So if, if, you were a, if you were a sort of member that had just signed up on a monthly, every month you'd receive a pouch in a biodegradable envelope coming just like that through the letterbox. That is it. Drops onto the mat, there you go. So I think the fact that you've done in a pouch is really interesting because it's just so different to what people expect and think of it, mm. and it's just so practical. What I would say, though, is I think it looks a bit like a children's puree baby type thing. I take your point. I mean, it, does, it, it it's bright, it's colourful, it could be and has been confused with, uh, you know, other types of food packaging. But, of course, it was designed to actually fulfil a purpose. We are far better value than our competitors because of that pouch, because it doesn't break, because it fits through letterboxes, so people don't have to go to the post office to go and pick up the whiskey delivery that never arrived. And, and we're very much committed to the liquid. And so whenever someone questions the container, that's just an opportunity for us to say, look, these are great liquids. You should be thinking about the liquid, not a glass vial, you know? Tristan calmly defends the product's packaging under criticism from Tej Lalvani. Deborah Meaden now wants to spill all on how she became a whiskey connoisseur. I hated whiskey with a vengeance. And how romantic is this? I learned to drink whiskey in Africa with a guy who was absolutely, we were sitting on, overlooking the plains of Africa and he was insisting on me learning how to drink whiskey. I didn't know you had to learn to drink whiskey. I just <laughs> thought you could drink it. 
What's the way of drinking whiskey then? I'd like to know that. Well, I didn't like it because I used to taste it and I would get it at the back of my throat and I'd be... <laughs> and I was told, breathe in, sip and breathe out yeah. over your whiskey. Don't breathe in. And it's the breathing in that was giving me the <gasps> yeah, yeah. feeling about yeah. it. And he's absolutely right. So, um, well, so there you go. Yeah, Give it a go. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Which one's the best one to try? I try the Altmore 12. It's probably the lightest of the three, if you want to go in. Anyway, that's, my, that yeah, was, no, that's, that's my whiskey story. So, that's good. A very dear friend of mine, who was sitting in that chair in Dragon's Den for many years, invested in a gin club subscription model that has been unbelievably successful. But partly because the gin companies were seeing them as a marketing tool. Mm. So a lot of the product was free. Now, that obviously relies on you getting enough yeah. Yeah. eyeballs to make it actually worthwhile. But is that where you're thinking this is going to 100%, 100%. go? 100%. Um, we realised that that is exactly the way to pitch it to brands, is actually this is a sampling opportunity to get your liquid onto the lips of X many thousand people that want to know more about the category, that absolutely love whiskey. So what, what are you missing? I mean, to be honest, you've got a lot of experience. You've launched this, you've done really well from the word go. So which bits do you feel you're missing? We're, we're not missing anything in respect of knowing the whiskey industry. What we're missing is the, the, the help to, to expand it, to grow it. We don't have any experience taking a brand from this sort of size and turning it into a multi-million pound brand. And it feels like if we don't do it right now, then we'll miss the opportunity. So it's, it's, it's key from our point of view to get the right expertise on board. The entrepreneurs have dreams of whiskey world domination. But Tuka Suleiman wants to see if the numbers they've generated so far tot up with these grand plans. Great idea. So what's the turnover? This, this year it will be 223,000. Gross profit? 85,000. Yeah. Net is about 52,000. What's your prediction for next year and the year after? So our plan is 450,000 yep. at the end of year one. Gross profit? I think it's around 150,000. Yes. Net profit? 90,000. So turnover for the following year is... Um, 1.7 Yeah, 1.7 million. million. Yep, and then gross profit? I believe it was around the 420,000 with around 350,000 net. So you're telling me that a 1.7 million turnover business would only need 90,000 to run? Yeah, well, the question is what do we need to spend money on to run it? I don't there's, know. There's, there's, Tell me, it's your business. Well, this, this is it. There's, there's, there's us. Your salaries. I mean, just... yeah, but, yeah, this is true. I mean, our goal with this is to grow it to such a stage where we can sell it. And we would prefer to not take salaries and to funnel money back into marketing. But even if you, even if you push the salaries to one side, you're going to go virtually, yeah. you know, six, seven times bigger. Yeah. Yeah. And you're telling me you have no overhead. Yeah, sure. The reality of these figures is that as the business expands, you will have to have audit fees, you'll have to have insurance, you'd have to have all sorts of overheads, which you may not account for today. So for the next year or two, your profitability is unpredictable. So on that basis, I wish you all the best and I'm out. Tuka Suleiman delivers a sobering analysis of the entrepreneur's financial forecasts and heads for the door. And it appears Sarah Davies has also made up her mind. I'll tell you where I'm at. I think you've got a, a pretty robust business. I think it's different. I think you've spotted a gap in the market and you've got a really great opportunity. Thank you. Honestly, though, I think you need an investor who has a remote jot of interest in what you're selling. <laughs> and that's not me. Okay. <laughs> I've tried yeah. to take the advice of my fellow dragon here and give it a really good go, and it still wasn't for me. So, not one for me today. I'm out. A whiskey subscription service isn't to Sarah Davies' taste, and she becomes the second dragon to bow out. Peter Jones has been quietly drinking in the pitch so far, but has the pair's offering hit the spot? 
I've got one of my guys that, that has come into mind that I work with, and he always said to me, if there's any business that comes into the den that is a pitch about whiskey, I please, I beg you to invest in it. <laughs> because I believe that it's going to be the next craze. So I'm going to make you an offer. And I'm going to offer you all of the money. But I'd like 20% of the business. Thanks. OK, thank you. Peter Jones takes a shot at investment with an offer, albeit for twice the equity the duo wanted to part with. Does whiskey lover Deborah Meaden also want to contribute to the company's kitty with some cash? I think you guys, you've got a really good instinct about this. I mean, you've lived in this world. Um, and I think I can certainly help in terms of growing your market. So I am going to make you an offer. I'm going to offer you all of the money, but I want 20% of the business. OK, thank you. Thank you. Well, I think there's a lot of potential. You can really grow this internationally. And, you know, I'm passionate about whiskey. Um, it's not that I have somebody else who, who's passionate about it and who works with me, but I think it's yeah. That's a something cheap, I want. That's well, a cheap it's, it's shot. true, though. It's, it's a true. cheap shot. Um, so I would like to make you an offer. I'm going to offer you all of the money for 15%. OK. Tej Lalvani makes his play and undercuts Peter Jones and Deborah Meaden by 5%. But that's still more than the 10% stake the entrepreneurs wanted to give away. Now, now that all those offers are on the table, would any of you like to budge or change your offer at all? Yeah, actually, do you know what? I'm going to throw something in. What about 75,000 for 15% on the basis of the fact that sometimes two dragons are better than one and I'll share it if Deborah would share it? Um, yeah. So you're offering, uh, you're asking for 7.5% each? Mm. Okay. Yes. Okay. OK, should, should probably have a chat about it. <laughs> <laughs> now there are two offers on the table, both asking for a 15% share in return for the £75,000. However, Deborah Meaden and Peter Jones are happy to team up on a deal, whereas Tej Lalvani is flying solo. There's two better than one. That's tricky. But with the whiskey entrepreneurs only looking to hand over a 10% stake, they have plenty to ponder. Or should we say three dragons, 5% each? They won't go with it. I could do that. We could ask. Could ask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. OK. We've got a question. Um, would you three consider each going in equally at 5% and all of you partnering on? What, so you end up with Deborah and you've got, you know, the best male dragon in the den, and you've got somebody that loves the product. What's not to like? I would personally love that, depending on the other dragons. I think there's good value add from, from all the three dragons, so I'm OK with that. Me too. OK, then right. we, have a, we have a deal. We'll accept that. Yes. Deal, Thank you very much. Well done, guys. Thank you. Well done. Great. That's wonderful. High five. Thank you very much. <laughs> well Thank negotiated. You. Thanks for your Great. time. Thank you. It's bottoms up for Tristan and Tom as they leave the den with £75,000 and a triple measure of dragons to help make their business a worldwide success. <laughs> that was amazing. That was really good. Over the moon. Like, absolutely thrilled. We hoped we would get investment, but to get three dragons in one go is an incredible result. You are not to drink the profits, Tej. If this is what I have to do to get you guys to drink whiskey, to invest <laughs> in a business, then so be it.